Now today we're going to teach you that two truths is the only thing you need to know. I'm going to teach you about the tree of life and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And when you see this, you'll understand all parables, you'll understand Jesus, you'll understand life. Now remember this, this is very simple. He said, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Now here's the way you say that, that you'll be able to know the truth, and the truth sets you free. In the beginning was the tree of life, and the tree of life is not a tree. And the tree was with God, and the tree was God. So God is the tree of life. In other words, God is life. And Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Now notice everything he said. He never taught to the tree of knowledge. Jesus didn't. He'd say, there's ten virgins, five with wives, and five with foolish. They'd have oil in their lamp. Now he, Jesus said, and verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born again. See, he was talking, unless a man eats of the tree of life. He cannot see the kingdom of God. He'd always talk about life. He come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. You just need to think two thoughts. When, a, when you go to a church and a preacher says, open your Bible, is he of the tree of life or the tree of knowledge? In Spanish, they, their language is more descriptive and they have more words that are more descriptive. And they have the word saber, which means to know that's in an analytical way, uh, to know with your mind, to know about with knowledge. But they also have a word called conocer, and that means to really actually know somebody with your heart, to experience something. And so keep in mind the difference in the two. It, it makes a big difference. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, Ye must be born again. The wind blows where it lists, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but cannot tell where it comes, and whither it goes. So is every one that is born of the Spirit. Now what was Jesus talking about? Was he talking about the tree of knowledge of life? of good and evil, or was he talking about the tree of life? He come and he said, I am the life. I'm the way, the truth, and the life. So you got to understand this. If you see a person, you can look at them. You can, I can just look at a person and tell if they go by knowledge or if they go by the Spirit. All right, now listen closely. Jesus through the Holy Spirit is the tree of life. The Holy Spirit is the tree of life. The Bible is the tree of knowledge of good and evil. When, you, when the preacher says, open your Bibles, get out of there. Why well, they send kids to school? So they get the tree of knowledge. Satan controls them by knowledge. And when Eve talked to the devil, and he told us that this will make you wise. You see, they want wisdom. Why does preachers go through Bible college? To get in the Holy Ghost? You don't have to do that. All right, now listen to this. this. This You should really take this to heart. For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift, and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost, and have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the world to come, if they shall fall away, to renew them again unto repentance, seeing they crucified to themselves the Son of God afresh, and put him to an open shame. For the earth which dranketh in the rain that cometh off upon it, and bringeth forth herbs met for them by whom it is dressed, receiveth blessings from God. But that which beareth thorns and briars is rejected and is nigh unto cursing, whose end is to be burned. Now, you see, they talk about the tree of life. If you give up on the tree of life, you give up on God. If you leave God, you leave the tree of life. The Holy Ghost is the tree of life. Jesus is the tree of life. God is the tree of life. There's going to be the tree of life when we are home. It's going to be with us forever. Unless you become as a little child, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. A little child will follow its mother and father anywhere they take it. So you must become as little children. Let the Holy Ghost lead you and guide you. You don't travel but knowledge. Knowledge will not get you nowhere. And the woman saw that the tree was good for food. That's a natural thing, food. And that it was pleasant to the eyes. That's the things you can see. 
and a tree to be desired to make one wise. That's fleshly knowledge. The angel told Daniel that knowledge would increase and people would be running to and fro. Their knowledge has increased and they're running all over the place, but they haven't become more spiritual or more godly. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. To him that overcomes will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Now keep in mind, the Bible is part of the tree of knowledge. It is not of the Spirit. It is a natural thing. And in Jude they say, These be they who separate themselves sensually, having not the Spirit. You see, they search the Scriptures, and they think they uh, are saved. But Jesus said, You won't come to me. If you notice, Jesus always taught the tree of life. He never taught the tree of knowledge. And you have a choice. The Holy Spirit or the Bible. The Holy Spirit is the tree of life. The Bible is the tree of knowledge. When you're in the Bible, you can know about God, but you can't know Him. You can only know Him through the Spirit, and knowing about Him will not save your eternal soul. You have to know Him through the Holy Spirit, and then He regenerates you by filling you with His Spirit. While Peter yet spake these words, the Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word. And they of the circumcision which believed were astonished, as many as came with Peter, because that on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy Spirit. For they heard them speak with tongues and magnify God. Then answered Peter, Can any man forbid water that these should not be baptized, which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we? Now listen to me real close, and you'll understand why. When I was a little bitty boy, I'd never been to church. I, I seen them handle snakes in the church, but I didn't want to go back to church no more. I didn't know anything about the name of Jesus, but God guided me. Now it was like Moses at the burning bush. He said, who will I say sent me? He said, I am that I am. I knew God was with me. I didn't know his name. He'd come down and hug me. I knew he would speak to me. I knew him, but I didn't know about him. I knew him, but I didn't know about him. Now that's the difference between me and a Bible worshiper. A Bible worshiper knows about him, and I know him. Now here's what's going to happen. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. And in the midst of the street of it, on either side of the river, there was the tree of life, which bare twelve manners of fruit, and yielded fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and the Lamb shall be in it. And his servants shall serve him, and they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their forehead. And there shall be no night there, and they need no candle, neither light of the sun, nor for, for the Lord giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. Listen to this hillbilly. If you want life, eat of the tree of life. Ask God for the Holy Ghost. You will never understand the Holy Ghost. God asked, Job and them was talking about God like they knew him. And God asked Job, said, where was you when I laid the foundations of the world? And Job couldn't answer it. And we can't answer him. You can't know love. You, you can't analyze God. You can't analyze the wind. You have to accept it and believe it. So I'm sitting here, been touched by God. I know he's real. I've been in the spirit. So listen to me. Don't eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Don't eat up the Bible and eat that little book. You eat that little book, your belly's going to be poisoned. Eat from the tree of life, and you will live forever. And you children that are really seeking for God and have true sin sincere hearts, don't try to find Him with your understanding. Don't try to figure Him out with your natural mind. The natural mind cannot receive the things of God. Seek after Him with your heart. We don't live by understanding. We live by faith. That means God lives in you. He tells you where to go and what to do. You don't have to understand everything. Knowing things oftentimes interferes with just being led by the Spirit. Faith is being led by the Spirit of God. Seek for Him with, his, with your heart. He does not deal with your natural mind. He deals with your heart. So seek for Him with your heart and then submit yourself fully to Him.